gemacht. Hello everyone and welcome back here to another video on my Minecraft Survival Let's Play World. Where we're back, well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Where we're back once again on our world. And for those of you which are wondering what's been going on, why I haven't been uploading, well, the reason is because, well, I've been waiting for 1.17 replay mod to come out for me to continue on this world because recently I've been kind of burnt out working on this world so much. So I wanted to go ahead and wait for the new update before I continue. But the unfortunate thing was that 1.17 replay mod really did take a while to come out. So unfortunately that did mean that I had to wait a little bit longer till I posted these videos once again. But to keep you guys company, as you may have noticed, I uploaded some different types of videos over the past couple of weeks. And those videos were some things like redstone tutorials, building tutorials even, and also Minecraft time lapses, which I'm sure all of you guys did enjoy because recently, thankfully, all of you guys have been loving the content and I've got a bunch of new subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be doing in today's episode because I cannot wait to get building with all of those 1.17 blocks because, well, we need to really expand this town over here because it's been a while since we built that first house over there and also it's been over a month since we built this castle gateway. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be doing to expand our town over here and I'm definitely going to be using the brand new 1.17 blocks. And before I continue, just one thing I'd like to quickly say is that we've got a bunch of new subscribers like I did mention a little bit earlier when we're up on that castle gateway. But one thing they're probably confused about is this Minecraft survival series over here. So for those of you which are wondering, this is basically just a survival world which I work on in my spare time but produce content for you guys to enjoy. So I really do hope that you guys like this content. But if you don't, don't worry, I'm still going to produce the kind of other content that you guys see on my channel which hopefully you guys do like. So for those of you new subscribers or even new viewers, basically, don't worry, I'm still going to be making a bunch of Minecraft time lapses, all those landmarks and also a bunch of redstone tutorials like I do. And here it is, this is the place that we're going to be working in in today's episode and I plan to build a bunch of houses over here, well not a bunch, maybe just one or two and also just decorate this entire area so that we get a large portion of our town done in today's episode. But one thing you guys might have noticed is for those of you which actually watch my series is that this place might look a little bit familiar to you but is a bit different from the last time you saw it. And you guys are definitely right, so in episode, what's this, 48, so in episode... 46 if I'm correct in episode 46 basically I was working on beautifying the entire village over here you can see we've got the custom trees and I was also working on this area over here now the last time you saw it you probably saw a huge river cutting through this landscape over here and a nice big bridge but what I've done is in between then and now is I basically gone ahead and patched all of that up because now what I want to do is actually do something different and something that we can complete in one episode rather than spending a whole lot of time off camera and making it by myself because I've got big plans for this area. And all of those big plans are going to come to life in today's episode because what I've got planned for today's video is going to be huge. So to start off with, we're going to still have a river coming through this segment of land over here. But this time it's going to be a lot smaller and it's also going to be a lot more detailed because of course having big rivers also means it spends a lot more time to make them but having smaller rivers means that you can make them more detailed and look realistic so what we're going to do is have a small river come through this segment of land over here and then we're going to have a small bridge over that and once you cross that bridge over to this side of land over here basically up to this point then what we're going to do is create a huge piece of farmland and we haven't actually made any farmland yet in this town over here so I think that's going to be the perfect place to put all of this stuff over here and the great thing about farmland is it's super easy to make without spending a lot of time and it also looks extremely beautiful so I can't wait to use all the new 1.17 blocks to make a beautiful piece of farmland over here and of course what's farmland without a farmhouse so I'm also going to be using some copper blocks and also the new deep slate blocks to make a beautiful farmhouse. And basically that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode. A bunch of building in the terraforming sense and also a bunch of building in the normal sense for our beautiful farmhouse that's going to go over here. And who knows, we might even build a little bit more if I have an extra bit of time at the end of today's episode. Like building a barn house and all of that stuff. 
but if we don't have enough time for that, we can always do that in later episodes. But one thing we need to get settled is getting all of those 1.17 blocks just yet because I haven't actually been exploring a lot over here in our single player world since the new 1.17 update. I have been looking for newer chunks to try and mine in but when I did mine down I did not find any new blocks except for a couple pieces of copper ore which I'm super glad about finding. But one thing that we really do need to get is those azalea leaves to make the farmland over here, some moss blocks, some deep slate and some more copper so that we can have a sufficient amount to make copper blocks. And of course that's going to be no easy task so we might as well get straight underway and start prepping and looking for those blocks and why not go ahead and do that with you guys so that you can see my reactions for the new 1.17 blocks in person. I don't think I even made any sense in that last sentence but hopefully you guys still understood me because me no speak English good yeah. Okay anyway let's go ahead and continue from where we left off and the first block that I want to get is some moss blocks and that's going to be pretty hard to to get because we're going to have to find like a lush cave first or something to get those moss blocks because I'm not sure if there's any other way to get them. So I'm going to go have a quick fly around the world over here maybe go a few thousand blocks in some random direction and try and find some new unloaded chunks so that we can go ahead and start grabbing these new materials. But first sleepy time. Alright so now I'm already after having a quick sleep down there and now what we're going to do is go ahead and set off on our journey and hopefully we go ahead and find those new blocks because I can't wait to get a hold of them. So what I'll do is just fly around and hopefully find some unloaded chunks where those new blocks are located in and I'll notify you guys once I get there. So now I've flown quite a distance with my elytra I think over about 5000 blocks and I've come to chunks which I think are unloaded because it took quite a while to load them in and for me to fly past them so I think I'm at a point where we're all good and far enough away from places that I've explored and now what I'm going to do is actually venture into caves because from my knowledge actually lush caves haven't been implemented in just yet so the best way to find moss blocks is from wandering traders or from shipwreck chests so we can go ahead and do that later so what I'm going to do is go ahead and head into these mines over here and hopefully try and find those new blocks, those new 1.17 blocks hidden in the cave such as the copper blocks and hopefully some deep slate tiles and hopefully we find something and we find some glow lichen straight away which is actually a good sign because that is one of the new 1.17 blocks which kind of indicates that this is indeed an unloaded chunk. I guess then I'll just go ahead and continue to venture in this cave by myself and once I come across these newer blocks I'll go ahead and show you guys around and hopefully I'll be able to gather a bunch of those blocks so that we have enough to build with. So what I'll do is just continue down in this direction over here and there we go. We've already got some copper blocks which is actually fantastic and is a great sign. Now what I'll do is continue to go down and hopefully find some deep slate as well. Alright so hopefully now we're getting low enough. Let's go. We found some deep slate. Speak of the devil. Just what I was looking for. Now we found some deep slate but this doesn't seem to be a whole lot. Maybe if we just come down here we can see, yeah we've seen some more over there. So if I mine a bunch of this stuff then we should be good and we can go ahead and start crafting all the other types of deep slate variants which you can make with these deep slate blocks. But this is actually extremely slow. Also I'm going to grab some of these deep slate ore blocks because I think those actually look extremely beautiful and we can kind of incorporate them into our build somehow. Yeah now I've realized this is going to take a whole lot of time. So next time you see me hopefully I have more than just a stack and hopefully more like a full shulker box worth of this stuff because we really do need a lot of it and I'm not bothered to come back here in the future and mine more of this stuff unless I have a beacon but actually now that I think about it I found some tough here and I actually really want to get that kind of block there because tough is an absolutely beautiful looking block and I think we can also incorporate that into our build as well. So I'm going to, oh, there we go. Got some more copper as well. This is actually the perfect place to be. So I'm going to spend at least a few hours here gathering materials, gathering some tough, some deep slate and some copper. And hopefully we even get more blocks on top of that. Maybe hopefully find some calcite. Maybe if you can find them down here. I don't know whether you can or you cannot. And maybe we stumble across an amethyst geode. That would be actually pretty cool. 
All right, so with all of that being said then, I guess I'll just see you all back at base because this is going to be one lengthy mining trip because you can already see how many new blocks there are just around here and I definitely want to grab all of them. So unless I run into an amethyst geode, I'll see you all back at the base with all of our stuff because this is going to definitely take a while to transport and just as I say that, I look above me and I think that is an amethyst geode. Uh, let's try and figure out how to get up there without killing myself and let's go ahead and inspect that because that is some smooth basalt which is a brand new block and I don't think that spawns unless there is a geode around. Yeah I definitely do think this is going to be a geode because you can kind of see the spherical shape on it that looks kind of like a, a sphere or like a ball so I'm going to go ahead and bridge up towards it and if my wishes are true then it is in fact a geode i can't believe i was so calm when i was talking and i just saw this thing it's kind of surreal that i found it okay let's mine into this okay there we have it we found the amethyst blocks and we've also got some calcite as well which is a beautiful block must i say and it's actually quite fast to mine through i didn't believe that so let's try and break into this thing oh my look at how beautiful this looks I need to grab all of these blocks here. They're just so majestic. Holy moly, this is just, this is unbelievable. I know I said I'll see you guys all back at base, but we really do have to explore this geode. It looks so, so good. Those crystals look amazing. We can also make the brand new spyglass with all this stuff. Oh my, this is going to be perfect for what I've got planned for today's episode. I know we probably won't be using any of these amethyst blocks for what I've got planned, but still, it's pretty cool to stumble across this thing. And I probably should mark down the coordinates just in case I want to make like one of those crystal farms that people make with these amethyst, uh, what are these called? Let's just go ahead and check them. Budding amethyst. We can go ahead and make a farm with these budding amethyst uh, blocks over here in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the coordinates of this place and gather all the calcite as well. Because I think this is one of the only ways that you can get calcite in the game. Unless I'm wrong, because there's a good chance I am. I actually really did underestimate the sheer size of this thing. Like, once you're in person and you find the Amethyst Geode, this thing is actually really, really big. It's, like, huge. You can make a huge base out of it, in fact. That'd be quite a nice starter base, now that I think about it, making a base in a geode. But anyway, I should probably just stop blabbering on and start collecting these blocks. And I'll see you all back at base. Alright, we're back at base now, and as you can see, we've got a bunch of shulker boxes right in front of us, filled to the brim with materials. If you just take a look inside of one, you can see it's filled all the way up to the top with deep slate. We've also got some amethyst blocks here from our geode, and some calcite as well, on top of some copper blocks and some tuff, which is pretty good because these are almost all the blocks I want to be using in today's episode. But one thing you might have noticed as well is in my hotbar, I managed to get some moss blocks, and I was lucky enough to come across a shipwreck on my way back from our mining trip over there and in one of the chests I did luckily find some moss blocks which I was super excited about because with these moss blocks you can bone meal them and you can get some azalea saplings and with those you can of course bone meal those as well and get all the azalea leaves that you'd ever want. So now that we've got all the blocks we'll ever need now we can begin the building process. So hopefully we can just start today's time lapse and start building because I'm super excited to start work on this area over here and hopefully you guys are super excited to watch today's time lapse so i hope you guys are going to enjoy this one and i'll see you all straight after the time lapse
Phew, that was definitely a lot of work, but in the end, it was really worth it all because the result that we came up with after that huge time lapse there is amazing to look at. You can see what we've created, and I have to say, I'm super happy with the result, especially with that house over there in the distance. We've used as many of the new blocks as we could, and I think it looks absolutely amazing. If we just come closer, we can take a better look at it, but we used some of the dripstone, some of the deep state variants as well to make it look good, and also some tough and other new blocks such as the glow lichen. And I have to say, using all of those brand new blocks make it look really, really good. And I think that's a perfect house to start off with in our new 1.17 update. And of course, why would we just build the house by itself? So you might have noticed in the time lapse as well that we made these beautiful wheat fields over here. Now, one thing I forgot to do is actually add in the river that I was talking about, that little kind of stream that would run down here. But that's kind of a small thing. And I can do that myself, especially since the time lapse was getting really long. So I might as well just go do that in my own time and get this video out to you guys because, well, this video is taking a long time to come out. But nonetheless, I really do think these wheat fields look really, really good, even though they've got no water supply. I just think they look really, really amazing, to be fair. They just stand out so well, especially amongst these brand new azalea bushes. And I've also mixed in some moss here and there. You can see some of these moss carpets along the grass on the sides. And I've also mixed in some moss blocks, but they blend in so well. You can barely notice them and i've also of course added in a few custom trees which just make the area look a little bit nicer so i hope you guys enjoy watching today's time lapse because i definitely had a really fun time building all of the builds in front of us because well it was really fun to experiment with all the brand new 1.17 blocks and like i said it looks amazing once they've all been put together this house in front of us looks astonishing and even the greenery around us looks super great as well even though we didn't use too many of the blocks but with all that being said, unfortunately, that's going to have to be the end of today's episode because, well, it's getting a bit too long now since I posted my last video. So once again, now that we're in the outro, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed everything. I know I say that in pretty much every single episode, but I really do mean it. I want to produce the best content for you guys. And that, of course, means building at my best capabilities. And of course, I think I hit that in today's episode. But if I didn't and you guys didn't like the building, let me know. But personally, I enjoyed it and hopefully you guys liked it as well. But with that being said, that's going to be the end of today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.